All right, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to enter uh, a lead into a uh, clinch pad. Anyway, <clears throat> the way you'll receive a lead is in an email like this. And Jerry, this is from our free quote, but um, all the information we need is down here. You'll have it from the name, um, the actual email, phone number, the address, hopefully, and, and uh, a little comment there of what they want. Anyway, so what we do with that, first first of all, we've got to go to uh, clinchpad, so it's clinchpad.com, enter that, and um, that will bring it up, my, my thing's a bit, so you go in here to log, log in, obviously, um, obviously um, you'll get your um, login detail sent to you, mine's this, so I just sign in like that. Signing in, hopefully. Internet slow, hurry up. Anyway, what we do to actually add a lead is you go add a lead. You can either go put the name in there or you can click on and do that. But um, basically what we'll do is we'll add the lead in there. So go back to your little uh, thing. Copy the guy's or the person's name, the client's name. Put it in, where are we? Put it in there. Paste that and just click on add lead. That all you can see has come here. I'll just get more rid of all these so we can. Um, um, so we can concentrate on this up here. So basically what you'll have is you'll have your lead submitted in there as the prospect. So all you have to do is double click on that and that will bring their... Um, uh, thing up here. So um, what you want to do is go to contacts, add their name in again. So just paste the name in again, go add contact. And then what we want to do is go back to our thing, grab our, um, grab their email, put it paste, make sure you take that mail out, mail tail out. That's their email. Go back to the thing here, what we'll do is grab their phone number, copy, go back into here, put that in, paste, and now they've given you an email address, we'll just, oh, sorry, uh, their actual uh, address like that, just copy that, somehow, copy that. Copy that. Sorry about that. Um, where were we again? Now I've got lost track. All right, so just put their address in there. So we've got everything that we need to know if we want to um, be on online and get that. So just create that, and you'll have all their details there. So just go back to your pipeline. This is what the pipeline's about. All right, so you'll see we have contact. Uh, section 149 and suicide inspections, deposit taking, plans confirmed by owner and plans sent to head office to me and CD started. So I'll just get rid of all these. Alright, so basically I'll show you what you do. So once you um, contact the person, all you do is click on that notes and go like that, so I put say, what's the date today, the 7th of the 1st, 16, uh, contacted owner and organise uh, site inspection. So, just add that note, just click out of there, so you've contacted them, and when you've organised the um, uh, the site inspection, or when you've actually done the site inspection, you put it over there. But uh, you also have to ask them for in the notes, put down 7th, 1st, 16, uh, received section 149 and sewer. And so, as you can see, just put in all the notes that you need. 
and away you go. So when you've actually done your site inspection and your site report, you can go just put it in there, do it again, just keep putting your notes. Um, did site inspection, all good, something like that. Just anything that you think is going to be relevant, the date and all that, just add the note and away you go until you go through all these steps. So just keep adding notes so you can always go back to your notes. If you want to go back to their contact, that's their details there. That's the things you don't really want to know about. If you want to upload files, so if you get their plans or their 149s, you just click on the computer, upload their 149, their sewer plan, and you'll always have it with you wherever you go. So you can see it's a pretty simple operation. Just um, got to go through each step as you go. Just ring them. Book site inspections. As you've been taught, when you contact them, you'll be asking for the sewer on a 149. Once you get that, move it to that. Book the site inspection, move it to that. Take the deposit, get the plans, just keep moving it through the thing. So this is a pretty um, easy system to use. Anyway, you have a great day and I will talk to you later.